We will talk about tonight in due course. Do want to touch on the big story in Irish football over the last couple of days, um, Keith, and that's of course that Vera Powell will not be offered a new contract to manage the Republic of Ireland women's team, despite being the first person to qualify the team for a FIFA Women's World Cup. Um, some talk that maybe full support the players wasn't there. Obviously, the allegations of our time at Houston Dash are still kind of lingering. What's your take on it, Keith? Have the FAI got this one right or have they been a bit harsh on Vera? Well, ultimately, time will tell, Tommy, but I think from the outside looking in, when you look at it just through football, a, tr a football perspective, I think she's been harsh done by bringing Ireland to the World Cup for the first time ever. The opposition we were up against, the three teams we played, we were competitive in all the games. I think we were quite unlucky in, in some aspects as well. So when you see the thing with Katie McCabe, Katie McCabe throwing her arms against Nigeria and you just start to see the little bit of disrespect, maybe a little bit of groin in between the two, and that, that's natural when you've been in a camp for so long, that can happen, but you just start to feel that maybe a couple of the bigger egos in the dressing room are starting to go against her. And when that happens, generally there will only be one winner. Generally the manager will win them battles, but when the manager's coming out of contract and a renewal is coming up soon, then maybe player power will get that pushed over the line. And I think what we see now is just player power that the, the girls have decided they don't really, they're not gelling with Vera. And to be fair, that hasn't transferred onto the pitch, Tommy. I mm. don't think we were looking at Ireland playing and thinking something's not quite right here. From my eye, they were playing for her, they were playing well, but it seems now that it's just got, you know, untenable. I don't think she could stay in the job. I don't think anybody's surprised by that news that yeah. she was not staying on. Well, while it is harsh, they, they kind of didn't really have a choice. If, in if, football if, terms, if, it's harsh, yeah. yeah. Um, we don't know the, content, uh, the content of the FEI's review into what happened in Australia, so the stuff we don't know um, about the trip as a whole, etc., uh, etc. Et so we're just judging it on, as Keith says, what we see uh, and what, what, what we see reported as well. But if, if, if it is the case that the players maybe uh, they certainly went back, went back in her publicly and whether she's lost the dressing room. Is she entitled to expect the FAI to, to back her based on, as Keith says, the, the football results that she's delivered even in that context? Uh, oh, that's a difficult one. You know, if you had the player pool to support backing the manager and 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 and, and five or six players maybe um, getting the chop, you look what happened to Spain previous to the World Cup going into a date issues with their manager and they backed their manager, and I think it was 15 players um, took themselves out of the reckoning for the World Cup, and I know three of them went up, went on to go to the World Cup. That's 12 they had to leave at home, and they still won the tournament. We don't have that player pool mm. size. But look, it's very, very difficult to handle on what's happened. You know, there's obviously a disconnect between the players and the manager. Something's not quite right. Perhaps in the future, the reasons, uh, uh, the report might be publicised, uh, or published, sorry, so we can get a better picture. Unless you're in the room, you know, and you can get a feel for what's being said, how it's being said and how it's being delivered and how it's being taken, um, you know, it's very hard to come down on, on, on either side. There's been a clear disconnect and invariably, you know, um, the manager's the manager always the one pays the price yeah. for it. But look, her legacy um, will, will probably be better shone on uh, as time goes on. You know, she, she broke through that glass ceiling. Um, she's inspired a generation of young girls um, to take up the sport. To, um, to increase the player pool size you just spoke of now. Yeah. Because, you know, I remember as a young boy watching Italian 90, USA 94, that was what got us into football or, or made us want to be professional footballers. Hopefully there's a generation of young girls and in time, people will look back on Vera Powell with a favourable uh, tone. Indeed.